Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Melanie and I do daily and weekly food hauls, unboxings of beauty boxes and food subscription boxes. I also do hauls from shops such as TK Maxx, Boots, Superdrug, Argos and other shops. So if this is the type of video that you enjoy watching then please subscribe. Today's video is what's in my bag. I am currently using this bag which I got from Accessorize around five or six weeks ago but I've been using it solidly for at least three and a half, four weeks now. It is an absolutely gorgeous crossbody bag and it's for leather. It is so good it actually looks like real leather. To the front as you can see there's like a black and white chevron design with the stripe detail down the front and then on the back it's just plain black. As you can see there's two zip sections, there's the front section and there's the back section and the strap is a chain with the faux leather top bit which I like so it doesn't dig into your shoulder. So everything that is in my bag is literally how I've left it, I've not taken anything out, I've literally kept it how it is so the video will be very accurate as to what is actually in my bag. This is what I will take out every single day when I use my bag. I probably won't put anything different in. I may put the odd snack in or if I don't need my umbrella, I will probably put a sm very small bottle of water in the bag. Other than that, this is typically what I would take out. So we'll start with the back section. So as I just mentioned, I have an umbrella in here and it is a totes umbrella. It's very small, as you see, it's a perfect size for this bag. The next item is just a little notebook. I got a pack of three of these when I bought something from Superdrug. I think it was Collab and it's literally just got bits of notes in it. I've not actually written in this yet but it has some bits of things that I've put in that I've got notes on. Then the next thing is this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I've never used this yet. I took it out to probably for the mirror but that is the compact and then underneath there is a sponge but I do want to try use it not just as a mirror I want to actually try and use the product so I think that's why I keep that in there the next item is some pain relief it's codeine I always have some of this with me because I'm always prescribed this currently for an illness that I've got the next item is a Kate Mox lipstick in the shade 17. This is the perfect pink as far as I'm concerned and I love it. I actually have two of them in this shade. Then there is a pen. I've got a notebook so I've also got a pen and a pen's handy to have because sometimes people want you to fill things in and they don't always have a pen and it's handy to have your own. I like these pens, this is the pen of choice for me. It's the Zebra pen and I have a lot of these because they're really comfy to use. Then it's another lipstick, this is a Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Pearl which is 353. I don't wear this on its own, I you put it with another lipstick, I probably would put it on top of the Kate Moss one that I've just shown you. As well as other lipsticks. Then we have a MAC lipstick in the shade Cream Cup. Again, the lipstick that I probably just showed you I would put on top of this because this is a bit too pink on its own for me anyway. Then I've got a set of keys for where I work. Um, different key for a different part of the building. Then this is my lip balm of choice. I have a lot of these. I've just finished one. I've got one in my bedroom and I always have one in my bag. And then we have another lipstick. This is one of the Gold Obsession lipsticks that came out over a year ago. I think I've got three of them and this is the shade Nude Gold. Again, this isn't one I would wear on its own. I would put this with one of the pink shades that I've shown This is another lipstick, I've just bought this. This is to replace one that I already had and that went missing. It is Pink Cocoa by Tanya Burr. This is literally my perfect shade of lipstick. 
the formula isn't amazing but it's the perfect shade for me so that's why I use it there is a Cadbury's chocolate eclair and then the last item in this side are, are some Werther's Original I'm constantly chewing on these, I constantly have one in my mouth then onto this side in here I have a Canon S120 this is the camera that everyone used to use for vlogging until the Canon G7X and the, key, and the G7X Mark II came in I do have a vlogging channel and this is basically all I can afford and it does the job. Obviously the quality is not going to be as good as a G7X but this will do for now because I'm not a big time YouTuber. So I generally will have this in my bag. Then this is my card holder. I've done an unboxing of this and I'll link that in the cards above. So this is absolutely fantastic. I got it for my birthday not last November but the November before because it's this caviar leather it's never scratched I use it every single day and it looks brand new in here I generally keep pets at home card um, Tesco club cards bank cards driving license and also all of my herb appointment cards you can see them normally in the middle I also keep cash but I've got no cash I spent it all today then I've got the Fleur de Force lip gloss in the shade Written in the Stars. This is one of my all time favourite lip colours as well. I misplaced this until recently and I found it and I'm happy I found it. So I kept it in my bag and I know I've got a lot of lip products in my bag but I don't generally carry all of these. Normally I'll carry two lipsticks because I normally wear two lipsticks at once. I'll carry my lip balm and this is permanently staying in my bag now as well. Another lip product. This is the Steve Laurent Life in Colour, Live Your Life in Colour Lip Tint. It's this nude pop shade. I really like this as well, but you've got to work it in your lips to make it look good. And that is absolutely everything out of my bag. It holds a lot. I could probably get more things in if I really wanted to, but that's generally what I carry on an everyday basis. If you have any questions about any of the items, then please leave them in the comment section. There will be a blog post about this bag on my blog, which is always linked down below. As I said, it was only £25 from Accessorize. I'm probably going to use this to death. It will be my bag for the spring, summer, until I see something that I want to replace it with. But it does carry a lot, and I'm really happy with it. It's really good quality, and delivery is only £2 from Accessorize, which makes it even better. If you have any questions, as I said, please leave them below and I'll be back very soon with another video. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.